Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This will be for September the 6th to the 12th, 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page or my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, for this reading, I'm going to use a few new decks that I bought. One of them I'm not so sure about, actually, which is this one here. The Divine Abundance by Tosha Silver. I'm not sure I like it, but I'll use it for this reading. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Then we have the Witchling Academy Tarot, which I'm obsessed with because I love pink. And the Angel Answers, which I've these ones I've actually owned for a while, just never really used. So I thought, why not? Okay, tell me about Aquarius, the 6th to the 12th of September. What's going on with you, Aquarius? The clock, need time, time to heal, making progress. It's all about divine timing as well. Cycles, we all go through cycles. Tell me more about Aquarius. Someone's sad, lonely, alone. You're in a physical separation with someone. You need to let go and move on. You're thinking of each other. Someone's missing you. You need to put up your boundaries, but also feel like something in it's not today is the card. So there's something you need to deal with. You can't leave it any longer. You need to deal with it today. And you're not ascending. You're not really sort of learning and progressing. Um, transcending obstacles. You're not yet doing that. We'll find out more. But if someone wants to take you on a date, go on one date. What's the worst that can happen? You know, at least go on one date. See what happens. Take a chance. Maybe you need to also switch up your type from where you've been before. If that hasn't worked for you, maybe try some something else. All right, let's try. So we'll clarify with a few other cards. So tell me about the clock. What do you need? You're not wanting to sort of walk away from something or let something go. Um, could be indecisive as well. Something needs, you know, something's taking time, but you're a bit indecisive about it. Um, you maybe have lack of hope, lack of faith. And feeling down, possibly feeling down. Now you've got the hermit in reverse. You probably need to actually spend some time alone. Um, withdraw from a situation where you figure out what it is you want. If you're indecisive, but maybe you just need to, you don't have to withdraw and not talk to this person, but maybe just have some alone time to kind of like do some meditation, uh, do some, you know, soul searching, some introspection, do some contemplation about what it is you actually want. You've got the four of swords in reverse. I mean, this has probably left you, left you feeling exhausted and burnt out and stuck. But you've got the queen of cups. You could be a mum. You could be empathetic, compassionate, intuitive, kind, you know, but maybe you need to now focus on your self-love and self-worth. On the bottom of the deck, you've got the ten of wands in reverse. So you might feel like you're doing it all. You might feel burnt out. You feel like you're doing everything in this situation and, and the other person's not. Like you're putting in all the effort. You're, you're doing everything. Yeah, look, this one just moved, went to fall out. Same card as what I just read. The four of um, the four where you're feeling exhausted. Four of swords. So yeah, someone's missing you, but maybe you need to let go and move on. Maybe you're in physical separation. Someone's sad. You're not wanting to move on and let the past go yet, though. You feel very discontent. Feel like you're dissatisfied, depressed. Oh, sorry, my neck. You're resisting a change. 
you know, you might feel unfulfilled because you've got those four of cups underneath. You've got the Queen of Pentacles as well and the Empress on the bottom in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who, as I said, can be a mum. They're also very dependable. They are resourceful. They're intelligent, nurturing. You could be a working mum. Um, you're supportive. You're accomplished, which is really good. Now, the Empress on the bottom is probably that you're codependent on somebody else to make you happy. You don't need anyone else to make you happy. So there might be things you need to put up your boundaries. You know, if you have a fight, maybe you need to deal with it today rather than leave it. But also maybe you need to have some patience with somebody or somebody needs to have some patience with you. Um, you know, especially if... You waiting for your plans to bear fruit. You you know you're putting in all this work and and you know with a with a long term view, but things are going to take time. You know, but also if somebody's if there's been an argument, sorry, I'm feeling exhausted. Um, maybe you need to just take some time. You might not be trusting your intuition. Um, you might not be dealing with um your own. Uh, repressed emotions you might have some fear that you need to release three of wands in reverse yeah it's easy to stay in your comfort zone for sure because you can't get hurt in your own comfort zone but there are frustration there's obstacles um, on the bottom, you've got the seven of wands in reverse as well. You're exhausted, as I said, burnt out, overwhelmed, indecisive. I feel that. I feel the um, exhaustion. But you're not ascending. You need to learn from, from something. Um, to learn to transcend obstacles. Somebody may want to communicate, but they're not. Or maybe there is no communication with, with you and this other person. Um... It can also be um, resisting the change, you're, you're frustrated, but you are going to move on and you are going to have hope. Be careful, this person may want to reconcile for some of you. So if that's not what you want, be prepared. too many now you've got the queen of cups over here and you've also got the King of Cups. Now I forgot to mention the star card that kept coming out. This one here is also you showing up in your own reading for a start. Um, I forgot to mention that. But the Queen and King of Cups, that's like a divine pair. So you could have had this person. Um, this person could have been your your person. They could have been your, your twin flame, your person. You saw them as that. Um, so now you're all, you know, feeling like you're stuck and you have self-limiting beliefs and you need to release any negative thoughts, be open to new perspectives. It's going to take forgiveness at the moment there isn't any kind of peaceful resolution but I feel like you know you need to forgive you you need to forgive them
there may be a new love coming in and this person could be the one so if this person wants to reconcile maybe your answer should be no it's up to you whether you choose to take the old or the new i guess No one's going to save you. So you have to look after you. You've got some awakening about a situation as well. Um, but go with the flow, the divine flow, the, you know, the universe has your back. Just go with, go with that. Anyway, that is what I have for you, um, Aquarius. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next reading. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.